All right, hey guys, real quick, I uh, wanna talk about my favorite throw variations for um, just essentially creating a feeling for the drive leg. A lot of kids do really well when you can, um, you can isolate a specific movement that creates a very clear feeling for them to then grasp and understand on how to then implement that within a delivery, especially if they're shooting for feelings. I, I've experienced uh, with a lot of young kids, is it's, it's more targeted towards like, can, can they feel a specific movement rather than can you verbally exchange a description that then they can have to input and translate to a specific feeling, right? So if you can put them in certain positions, like I said, that will that will um, essentially create that feeling, the better, all right? So when I say throw variations, these aren't necessarily drill progressions, although they can be used as a drill progression, but when I look at throw variations, you can do these in catch play, in your long toss, in your pull downs, whatever it is. My favorite throw variations per drive leg activation and feeling that are as followed. So one is a simple like half kneeling or what I would say like as a reverse lunge because I would actually like to get the athlete to do the movement of a reverse lunge and then as they concentric, so as they come up, instead of coming all the way up and elevating and getting into knee extension down here, get to that halfway point, boom, okay, I had to contract muscles to move concentrically and then as soon as I come up halfway, pause and then move lateral, okay? I've had a lot of success uh, with that one in terms of a specific feeling. Some things to look for is can we come up and then keep that knee bent to move lateral and then stay on that same plane with your pelvis. What I don't wanna see is someone go up and then now they go to try to think about exploding and they con continuously go up. We don't want that, all right? Um, another one is a drive leg reverse lunge jump to throw. So it's basically the same thing. Start here, reverse lunge, jump, boom, as soon as you hit down, go into your throw. So now you're focusing on the contraction of the concentric movement of exploding up. So you're even having to contract more than the actual, the reverse lunge itself because you have to explode up. Now you're intentionally training your drive legs ability to absorb force. So once you come down, boom, stick, stabilize and move, okay? And now third one, curtsy lunge to throw, basically the same thing as the reverse, as the reverse lunge, but we're just giving you a little bit better direction, okay? So you take your drive foot, line it up. Now, instead of going just back here, go back here. And now same thing, concentric movement, drive leg activation, you're just moving forward. Okay, and like I said, with these throw variations, you can do these as drill progressions with plyos. You can even do like a med ball. So if I were to do these med ball, it's the same thing, all right? Boom, ha, boom. Same thing with this one. Boom, ha, boom, boom. And then the curtsy here, ha. Okay, and I actually, I would say for drill progressions, especially when you're using your drill progressions as a way to really over amplify specific feelings, do med balls, do heavy med balls. So then you force the athlete to have to be extremely powerful within their drive leg. Um, and then you can proceed to throw variations with just baseballs and long toss, catch play, and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, those are, some throw variations in terms of drive leg mechanics and creating a feeling.